Have you ever heard of the infamous Fiji mermaid? In the 1840s, a man named P.T. Barnum got his hands on what was considered to be a legitimate and remarkable stuffed body of a mermaid that a crew of Dutch merchants claimed to have bought from a Japanese fisherman. It was displayed as the remarkable stuffed mermaid in Cape Town and London, originally owned by obsessive American captain Samuel Eads, who purchased the stuffed mermaid from the Dutch merchants for $6,000 in 1822, which equates to over $152,000 in 2023. And he was originally the reason why this piece was displayed in Cape Town and London. He began to make a decent return on his overpriced spending of his initial purchase. He then had a couple of well-known naturalists examine the specimen, who upon inspection promptly declared it as a fake. Eads then managed to persuade lesser known naturalists who declared it was real. The mermaid's popularity was soaring when the overly confident Samuel Eads claimed that doctor and surgeon Sir Everard Holm said that it was a genuine article when he in fact did not say anything of the sort. He denounced the mermaid in respected journals and newspapers and the specimen fell rapidly out of favour. Eads continued to try to tour with the mermaid but the word was already out. He spent the rest of his life trying to pay off his debts. This is when P.T. Barnum, the famous trickster and showman, managed to create a manipulative media frenzy surrounding the Fiji mermaid and cheated his way into fame and fortune. In 1842, several letters appeared in the press from correspondence from a man named Dr. Griffin in London, who apparently had a collection of creatures including the Fiji mermaid. Meanwhile, P.T. Barnum had just purchased the American Museum in New York and was desperate for a crowd pleaser. Barnum released free publicity in anticipation of the Fiji mermaid's display. This is the misleading leaflet campaign released in excitement by P.T. Barnum. After weeks of public debate, Dr. Griffin permitted Barnum to exhibit the mermaid in the American Museum. It was far from the images portrayed in the leaflet, claiming it was a voluptuous half-woman, when in fact it was actually pretty hideous, as you can see. <laughs> But if anything, that actually apparently proved its authenticity. This is the sketch that was released for the mermaid in the Sunday Herald in 1842. Quite the contrast compared to the advertised leaflet from Barnum. Nevertheless, people were fascinated. Now the twist to the story is that Dr. Griffin was actually a man named Levi Lyman, who was actually an employee of P.T. Barnum's. <laughs> they actually worked together previously on the incredibly unpleasant Joyce Heath hoax. So the true origins of the Fiji mermaid was actually the head of a juvenile baboon and the upper half of a juvenile orangutan attached to a fish and was about three feet long or 90 centimeters. P.T. Barnum knew full well that this was fake, but he also knew that the public would love it. It spent its days alternating between Barnum's American Museum in New York and Kimball's Boston Museum. It can now be seen at the Peabody Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology at Harvard University. In fact, I actually own this commemorative Scottsdale Mint non-circulating coin worth one Fiji dollar made out of 31 grams of silver with the Fijian coat of arms on the back with the figure of a mermaid rising from what appears to be the depths of the ocean at night with the words mermaid rising printed on the side. Now, ironically, this coin was distributed as a limited edition release commemorating the infamous P.T. Barnum's Fiji mermaid. Now, I'm actually in Fiji at the moment, so I'm going on a quest to ask locals about the traditional Fijian beliefs and folklore surrounding mermaids. Stay tuned.